Hey, hey, what is up, everybody? Mr. G Squared here, and welcome back. Welcome back to more Fallout 4. Of course. Oh, well, getting stuck on this thing. Playing in Project One Life in survival mode, and it has been a long time since I've been in uh, in the Fallout world. And, uh, oh, what's up, dog meat? You're such a good boy. Uh, so we're still on this barge, uh, of course. We're right where we left off on the last episode. It's just... It's been months since I've actually played. Uh, I know I still have a couple videos that I haven't posted, but uh, we're going to get back into this here. At least at the time of my recording, I haven't posted things. Oh, I missed some stuff on these guys. Let's uh, let's take care of this. Get this mini nuke here. And I'm carrying... Uh, two, oh, wait. Uh, that's not the right button. Carrying too much stuff. We need to drop some stuff. All right, inventory. What do we got? Wow, how much do those mini nukes weigh? Holy cow. Oh, oops. Uh, okay, let's see. It weighs 12 pounds. Holy cow. I guess I need to probably drop, uh. Oops. Probably need to drop a weapon. Uh, this weighs 12 pounds, though. I need to drop another weapon now, though. Or do I? Can I run like this? I can run like this. Okay. So I do remember that uh, I left the armor, my power armor, down in the lake here. Yeah, well, there we go. Uh, so let's just find that and get out of here as quick as we possibly can. Get out of here, fly. I got a fly buzzing around me. It's awful. All right, get in that power armor. Let's go. Here we go. Can we breathe? Nope. All right. Well, I hope we make it. I can't run either. I'm just stuck under here. Oh, okay, air, that's good. All right, we're free. So we're close to Diamond City. I almost said Rivet City. That is quite a, I haven't even played Fallout 3 since New Vegas came out. I, almost, I just went all Rivet City on it. We're getting pretty close to Rivet City now, I think, uh, you know, it's, it's just a little ways away here. The, uh, we're back to the point. We are actually getting close to Diamond City, I believe. Yeah, look at that. We're there. Oops, wrong button. I keep doing that. I did that last episode, too, I think. I just hit the wrong buttons all the time. Uh, but we are getting close, so let's, uh, let's move through the city. And get to Diamond City. We can attempt to, uh, attempt to get inside the city. I'm hearing gunfire back in behind uh thing else that we're doing here. Whoa! You have a gun? Are you carrying my gun, dog meat? I have never seen that. What you're carrying my gun that I dropped! Oh such such good boy. Can I take those? Oh, sweet, good. Empty milk bottles. I should be able to refill those when I found water. Where's the enemy? You need to tell me where the enemy is, boy. Because uh, we are, in case you guys have forgotten, we are still in survival. This is, like I said at the beginning, this is Project One Life, so when we die, the series is over. So you gotta, you gotta be stealthy. We're sneaking. That's a... I think that's a Rivet City Guard. Diamond, oh my god, I'm gonna keep saying it now. That's a Diamond City Guard. Diamond is up here. Yeah, those are definitely the guards. They were detected. They were detected by something. Aren't they fighting mutants? I think they're fighting mutants. Whoa. Where are they? Oh, there's one. Come on, go down. Yeah. Oh, oh geez. Okay, we're back. I don't want to do that. How do I get out of this? Tab is return. Okay, there. Sorry about that. Got a phone call. Had to take it. Where are you? There you are. Get wrecked. 
Diamond City Guard, what are you doing? Don't charge in there. Okay, well, I'll join you. Oh. Oh no. Aim for the torso. Boom. Fusion core. Okay, so I just used my last fusion core there. Oh, me, you still got my gun? Did you drop it? It's good doggo. Alright, let's grab a couple of uh, cedar baseball bat. Look at that. Athletic outfit. Diamond City guard armor. That's probably actually better than what I'm wearing. So, 5, 10. Oh, the arms are good. 15? Wow. Yeah, let's grab this stuff off him. I, I did it again, man. Alright, let's drop a gun. Let's do a little bit of inspecting in here. Let's see, what do we got to deal with? Mmm, tasty cram. We'll take it. There's no money in the register, so... Looting is not happening in here. Should probably check these super mutants out. Let's uh, let's go ahead and poke poke each of these mutants here, right quick. Hmm, caps and ammo. Okay. See, can I reach you from down here? Oh, oh. Apparently not. Oh, forget it. Let's just go. I'm not interested right now. Okay, so one thing that I believe I can do in these games is one, I can wear the power armor when I first meet and interact with uh, major areas and they give you a specific dialogue, but I believe you can do that with your vault suit as well. So I'm actually going to put on my vault suit as soon as I... there we go. Vault 101... 101. Oh my gosh, I'm so in Fallout 3 right now. I can't equip this while in power armor. Okay, well, whatever. We're gonna run up here, get out of the power armor. Then we're gonna go into Diamond City. Let's just leave our power armor right here. Hey, can you watch this for me? Excuse me. Not afraid of mutants, huh? You're our kind of guy. I like you, buddy. Can you watch this power armor for me? I'm just gonna step into step into the city right quick here. Actually, I'm gonna check my on my sunglasses. There's the guard stuff. Brotherhood. Eggs. Ten, ten, and ten. Yeah, it gives me that rad resistance, but it this stuff is certainly. <gasps> I can wear these too. Oh no, it took it off when I put on the uh, armor, didn't it? Oh no, I could only wear the helmet. Okay, so then we had that on. And now I got some actual armor going on here. Let's wear our sunglasses though, instead of the helmet. I mean, it's a lot better, but come on. Yeah, because when I have these fatigues on... Oh wait. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, 15, 15, 5... And then I immediately go up to, uh, well, I'm going to be at 35, 20 with the robes. So let's see what I'm looking like here. Yeah, I mean, you know what? That's, uh, that's decent. I'm pleased enough with that, with that look for now. But what we're going to do, we're going to take the, all this off. We're going to put our 101 jumpsuit on. 111, or 111 jumpsuit on. We're going to walk up here, because it should give us an interesting dialogue, like, Oh my gosh, you're a vault dweller. What do you mean you can't open the gate? <sighs> Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. Yeah. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just oh, I can't job. run. Oh, no. Hold on, I got to drop stuff. Uh, drop this, right? Wait, five. Okay, that's not enough. Laser musket? I don't really want to drop that. Uh, let's drop that mini nuke. Uh, it's not going to go anywhere. I mean, nobody's going to take it, right? I'll just be able to walk out and get it. I just don't want to take the damage. Oh, look, it's the scary reporter. I'm sorry, but the scary reporter. 
Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. Can't get the city in a tizzy, Piper. Come on. Oh, she's pissed. Right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. I'm going to switch weapons here real quick as well. Uh, just because I don't want to use all the... Uh, I want to put my sniper back on. This gate right now. Hey. You. You want into Diamond City, right? Yeah. Who are you, though? Tell me who you are, Piper. Who are you? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? I just upped my uh, mic volume. I hope that's uh, good for us here. You hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in? Or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. <laughs> <laughs> you used me. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. Piper, did you just use me? There's a there's a man in a top hat here. Uh, I don't take orders. All right, let's go. Sounds good. Let's go. Another great day in Diamond City. So I didn't get any special dialogue from that. At least not just talking to Piper here. Who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped Ooh, that for parts. Ooh, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? <laughs> the mayor's threatening to throw free speech in the dumpster. Where'd my... My caption just, like, disappeared. Uh, let's see. I hate newspapers. Not my business. What newspaper? I mean, I support, um... Boy, how do I do this without being political? I don't even know. I support news that reports real news. Speak up, I can hear you. Hey, you know what, Piper? I'm getting to it. I'm trying to talk to the people. The people need to hear me. Everyone loves me, and they want to hear what I have to say. And I do support Always the news. The the press. Oh, I That's right. I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome uh, to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Is that just because I'm a vault dweller? A fine place to come. Spend your money. Settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Sounds great. You're full of it. You're full of it. Whatever. <laughs> Why is my nose so big? Did I intentionally make my nose that big? Whatever. Sounds great, I'm man. I'm sure your city's a great place. Yeah, greatest house of cards in the Commonwealth. Until the wind blows. <laughs> <laughs> Was there anything in particular you came to our city for? Uh, don't answer, Diamond City. I'm looking for something. Missing person. I don't know, this mayor doesn't seem very trustworthy. I'm just gonna... Um, I'm not gonna answer. Not really your business. Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. I've had enough of this, Piper. <laughs> now I'll consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. Do you feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Yeah, sure. We can do that. Go to Piper's office for a uh, story of the century. Hey, what's up, brother? Officer, head on inside. Can I uh, can I look around first? I don't really see a problem with that, right? I just want to look through all your cash registers and uh, let's see what you got here. Yep, nothing. Okay, you guys are all poor apparently. Hey, Danny. You're Sullivan, right? So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? Uh, let's apologize. I'm I'm sorry, Danny. 
I didn't mean to lie, officer. It all just happened so fast. <sighs> You're not the first guy Piper pulled into a heap of trouble he wasn't ready for. Thanks for being honest. If it were up to me, we would have just let the both of you in. But the mayor's calling the shots, and... Well, you saw how mad he is. Hey. I think Danny looks more like me. Be good to note it down in the logs. Good to note it down in the logs. I don't know if I want it on the logs. Uh, I'm not going to answer that. Not really your business. All right. Sorry I asked. Hey, no, don't. Oh, gosh. I hate it when the dialogue takes that turn like that. It's okay, Danny. It really is. It's cool. Oh, hey. Question? You should talk to Sullivan. Okay. Hey. You're a badass, dude. Can't you be more like him, dude? All right, uh, let's not push that button. Let's run up on in here. My Vault 111 jumpsuit. We are gonna check out Diamond City. Suppressor will reduce the sound and recoil of a gun. All right, maybe I should invest in some suppressors. Uh, get some sound done here. Diamond City, I've reached level nine. We need to, we got some perks that we can do here. Nat talking to Piper. Hello. Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? <laughs> <gasps> Hello. Quite a show, huh? Yes. Quite a show. Hate it when they bring up the institute. Ain't like folks aren't already scared of them. Anyway, don't let it get to you. Life here is still a hell of a lot safer than out there in the Commonwealth. What's the Institute? What's the Institute? Ever heard of the Boogeyman? Shadowy monster that takes people in the night? Well, that's the Institute. Okay. They're just a fact of life around here. Someone gets taken by the Institute or gets killed by a raider. Which is worse. At least inside these walls, you don't have to worry about the raider. So what brings you to the great green jewel? You know what? I'm going to tell this guy. I I don't know why, but I feel like I can trust this guy. Looking for I like Clemens. Is that his name? Oh, Clemens? Is Who is it? Friend? Relative? My son was kidnapped. His name is Sean. Your boy's gone missing? That's terrible. I'm afraid missing people don't get found in Diamond City. God seems to have turned a blind eye to them. And with all the fear of the Institute in people's hearts, they've turned a blind eye as well. Help me. I'm lost, Pastor. I need help. Please. Well, I don't want to get your hopes up. But there is someone who might be able to help. Nick Valentine. He's a detective. Saved a lot of lives over the years, but so many more stay missing. And trouble has a habit of sticking to him. <laughs> That's not helpful. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself. So he's a pastor. That's cool. Oh, Pastor Clements. Is this a church or All Faith Chapel? Uh, I've never even been in this. There's so much stuff I haven't seen yet. Newcomers, if the institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks. Nat. I guess. I'm serious. The institute takes people. You should read up if you're sticking around. Okay. I believe you. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, mister. <laughs> the sense truth added. Let's read that right now, actually. Um, 
What is that going to be under, I wonder? Probably miscellaneous. There it is. Uh, let's see. Read. How long is this thing? Okay. October 2287. Since Truth by Piper Wright. Noodles. <laughs> we all eat them. We all love them. And Diamond City's power noodles. It has supplied this sustenance for the past 15 years from the stilted mechanical cadence what in the world program Japanese to the fragment steam that has wafted from each bowl <laughs> to the scandaling tang of the delicious mouthful the ordering and eating of noodles is but one of many shared human experiences or is it I was struck by this very question as I sat in the corner of Power Noodles last week, Wednesday weekend, Wednesday night, just after 5 p.m. enjoying a dinner I had so many times before. That's when I noticed our very own Mayor McDonald siding up, sitting, saddling, sidle, siddle. I don't know what that is. Sitting up in a stool, I engaged him in some very ritual right hand. Extending, mouth opening, teeth chewing, yes, eating noodles. <laughs> this is the weirdest article, uh, just FYI. The shared experience of almost every Diamond City resident. So, it must have also seemed to the residents of Diamond City... Nearly 60 years ago, on an uncharacteristically warm May evening in 2229, as they sat around this very counter, but that was before the days of Takshiri and his noodles. That must be the person's name. Uh, I'm, I can't even pronounce it. <laughs> when the bar served not noodles, but ice-cold Nuka-Colas, frosty beers, and stiff shots of whiskey. Barman's name was Henry, and that night he facilitated the shared human experience of drinking, smoking, talking, and laughing. That is, until tragedy struck. There aren't many among us who are even old enough to remember that evening, although some of the city's ghoul residents certainly could have, had they not been forcibly removed thanks to Mayor McDonald's anti ghoul decree of 2282. Oh, interesting. He doesn't like ghouls. But there is one person among us who does. Remember distinctly that event of that evening. Uh, remember... Hold on. Who does remember distinctly the events of that evening respected matriarch um, E. Hawthorne who recounted her story in a public occurrence exclusive interview. Oh my gosh, it's so long. Oh, I was there all right, sitting right there at the bar, sure as you're sitting here in front of me now, 20 years ago or so, and just looking to have a good time. I was safe behind the wall. We all were. So what was the harm? And let me tell you that Mr. Carter made it easy. He came into town earlier that day. He said he was from out west somewhere. I it didn't really matter what did matter was his smile and his laugh and the way he'd make everyone feel at ease that night why'd that just do that whatever uh, at the bar sort of crowded him everyone wanted to exchange a word or hear about the state of the commonwealth and mr carter he had was all too happily happy to oblige it was just so wonderful until it wasn't uh Eve Hawthorne continued her account of that evening in the moment when things turned sinister and the truth about Mr. Carter was revealed. We've been drinking, carrying on. Must have been three hours. Mr. Carter had four or five drinks in that time. He didn't seem a bit drunk. I guess he was like the rest of them. I guess, like the rest of us, then something just sort of happened. He wasn't smart. He was smiling. But the smile sort of went from his face, and all in an instant. And then his cheek started twitching. Kind of funny. And I remember watching him clear as if it happened just yesterday. He reached inside his coat, took out a revolver, and then blam! He shot Henry the bartender right in the head. Didn't hesitate. 
didn't show any emotion. Mr. Carter killed Henry as casually as if we were paying him for a drink, but his cheek never stopped twitching. Let me tell you, all hell broke loose after that. What E. Harthorne is describing is, of course, the infamous event known as the Broken Mask, when the people of the Commonwealth learned for the first time the Institute, the shadowy scientific organization responsible for the creation of combat androids, had actually succeeded in creating models so advanced it could effortlessly infiltrate human society. Unbeknownst to the people of Diamond City, the Institute had somehow evolved their androids into true synthetic humans since. After he shot Henry, that Mr. Carter shot three or four more people, like two. Like I said, all hell broke loose. The guards came running. They opened fire at Mr. Carter. He kept shooting and throwing people around left and right. Finally, those guards put him down. Seemed like they had killed a man who had flipped his lid, gone crazy, and lay there like a dead crazy man. Sure enough, God, it wasn't horrible. God, was it horrible. But then we saw the plastic and the metal. This was one of them early synths, you see. And we realized it wasn't a man at all. It was then we all knew the Institute wasn't just out there. The Institute was everywhere now, among us. It was never determined precisely why a synth known as Mr. Carter went on his killing spree. Some suggested he had somehow been remotely controlled by the Institute who wanted to test his combat efficiency. Still others felt he had simply malfunctioned, a hypothesis supported by the twitching cheek, and was never meant to kill anyone, but at that time the why hardly seemed important. What mattered was that the human humans of the Commonwealth had been truly infiltrated by an organization whose intentions and motives were and still are a complete mystery. Using the model of the synth effortlessly, uh, using the model of the synth even less advanced than this one, the Institute had in service today. Which brings us to the noodles, specifically the noodles consumed by Mayor McDonald last Wednesday night in the same spot that Mr. Carter, the synth, went haywire and mer mercilessly, mer <laughs> mercilessly killed several people. After spending hours sharing an experience with the people of Diamond City, assumed was reserved for members of the human race, they were wrong. Are we? Wow. What a read that was. Can I talk to you, Nat? You won't believe what's in the next issue, just as you wait. Well, I didn't believe what was in this issue. Um... I think we're going to do one more thing before we wrap this episode up, and that is going to, we're going to go into the All Faith Chapel and have a discussion, or at least poke around here, because I, like I said, I've never been in here. It's so cool. Let's check it out. Okay, we got people praying. There's the pastor. Not sure which God I'm supposed to be praying to. The pastor says it doesn't matter. You okay. really talk to the pastor. Okay. I'll talk to him. Oh, it's you. Glad to see you stop by the chapel. You holding up? Uh, fine, thanks. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. Old folks are taking well to you. I know it can be rough being from the outside. Now, if you ever need a quiet place to sit down and ponder the Almighty in whatever form strikes your fancy, we're always open. Thanks, Pastor. Thanks, Pastor. Feel free to make yourself at home. Oh, Pastor Clement, you're awesome. I like this guy. You got anything I can steal? First time. Just try to keep it down. Just try to keep it down. No, I guess he doesn't want me taking his stuff. Oh, that's right. I leveled up. Well, this was, uh... Let's go ahead and level up, I guess. Um... Oh, I have three levels up? Holy cow. Okay, well, let's take a... I should probably level up my endurance. Let's see what we can do here. It's so loud. All right, let's beef up Hacker by one. Uh, probably need to do Strong back again. Local leader. 
not really interested in right now. Scientist. I can't do anything past scientist and local leader. Oh, excuse me. That was a weird feeling. Uh, scoundrel's always good. Awareness. To defeat your enemies, know their weakness. You can view of target specific damage resistance in vats. That's pretty cool. Agility. I'm not very agile. Where's the lockpick stuff? Mr. Sandman, Invasion of Death itself, instant kill a person sleeping. Attack dog. There it is, locksmith. Your nimble fingers are now able to pick advanced locks. Let's do that. Can I up hacker one more? No, I need to be level 21 to do that. Uh, so yeah, let's... Uh, Let's see, where do I want to go is a good question. Nerd Rage. Oh wait, Pain Train, actually. Or Power Armor. Sprinting into enemies hurts and staggers them, that's awesome. Gung Fu, I don't know where I want to go. I must want to save this. Charisma. Persuade dialogue goes up. I could get the next level on Lady Killer, which I do really like. Let's do that. I like the Lady Killer part. Uh, just because. It makes it easier to kill women and <laughs> pacify them. What, what everyone wants to do. Alright, let's close this. That's ending us up here. I will see you guys in the next episode. Let me know what you guys are thinking of this series down below. Uh, if you want me to do something in particular, let me know that down there too. Oh, let me just take out my sniper rifle in church. That sounds, seems appropriate. Anyway, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.